Today I'm sharing three easy and inexpensive spring DIY decor ideas that you can do with supplies you buy at the Dollar Tree. Now you can make all three of these DIYs for under $20. I spent only around $16. For our first DIY, we're going to be making these speckled Easter egg potted succulents. Again, all the supplies come from the Dollar Tree unless I specify. The supplies you're going to need are these three miniature pots that come in a set, some floral foam, three different succulents or cacti. There's also lavender, so you could choose whatever plants you want to use. Baker's twine, and I got these fun spring colors. I already had a pair of scissors. I'm using some chalky finished paint that I already owned, but you could use any paint that you have already, or you could buy paint inexpensively from the Dollar Tree or Walmart. I'm also using some black acrylic paint that I already owned, a paintbrush that I already own. You will also need a hot glue gun, which is not pictured here. First step is taking your white creamy color or whatever color you chose to use. Blue would be really cute or pink or yellow. Any spring color would be really pretty and you're just going to completely paint the outside of the pots. Make sure to get the top rim as well. Then taking our black acrylic paint, you're just gonna kinda do paint splatters with your paintbrush on the pots. That way it kinda gives it that speckled Easter egg look. And it should look something like this when it's done. Once our pots are dry, I'm now gonna cut some of our floral foam, just small enough little cubes that will fit in the bottom of our pots. And then if you need to cut down your succulents at all because they are too tall, go ahead and do so. You want the base of your succulent to be overlapping the rim of the pot just so it looks nice and full. Um, otherwise you can see inside the pot and you can tell that it's fake. Then I'm using a hot glue gun and I'm just putting a little dot of glue and taking my baker's twine and wrapping this around several times on the rim of the pot, gluing it again to finish it off and cutting off any of the excess twine. And I just decided to use one color for each pot. I went back and decided to hot glue the bottom of the foam to the pot. That way they would stay secure and I wouldn't have to worry about them falling out at all. And after that, your speckled Easter egg potted succulents are done. And I think these are so cute and so trendy right now. I spent a total of $5 on this DIY buying the succulents, the twine, and the pots because everything else I owned. So this can be done for super, super inexpensive. Our next DIY is this Easter sign. The supplies you're going to need are a wooden frame from the Dollar Tree. I found this eight by 10 frame. That's the only thing you need to buy. So it really only costs a dollar and then you're just gonna use some paint that you already have. Again, I'm using my chalk paint, a paintbrush I already own, and a paint marker that I already own as well. You can get these at Walmart or Home Depot if you need to get a paint pen. And I'm just taking apart my frame and taking out the glass because I'm going to be painting the glass with my chalk paint. I recommend doing about two to three coats to get it to a more opaque finish, but you still want it to have that texture to it. Once it's dry, you can go ahead and take the back of the frame. I'm just using this kind of as a ruler to make a straight line and then write whatever phrase or saying you want on there. I decided to write amazing grace because that's what Easter is all about. The grace that Jesus has shown us by dying on the cross for our sins. And when you're done with your design, you can just put it back into your frame. As I'm putting it back, you can see the back part of the frame where I messed up. That was my original design, but I didn't like it. So I redid it on the back. So if you do mess up, just know that you could always redo it on the back of your glass if you want to. And that is it. This is probably the easiest DIY ever. And again, it only cost me a dollar to make. Our last DIY is this spring planter wreath for your front door. And I thought this was a different take on a wreath and would be really fun. So I got this planter tin at the Dollar Tree as well as this sun hat, some potting gloves, some flowers and kind of greenery stems. You can choose whatever ones you want. And then I also got this little rake where you could use one of the little potting shovels as well. And then I chose this burlap ribbon that has this lace design on it. And then the supplies I already own are my hot glue gun and a pair of scissors. You're 
also gonna want a command hook, especially if your planter is a little more on the heavy side like mine was. This will help it to better stay on your door. First thing I'm doing is taking my hot glue gun and putting two strips of glue on the back inside of the planter, and I am attaching my burlap ribbon to this. Next, with the sun hat, I took the blue ribbon that was around it off because I didn't really like it, and instead I'm adding some greenery just with my hot glue gun and a couple of flowers to it just to give it a cute spring look. Now you're just gonna put everything inside your planter. It's super easy, you can arrange it whatever way you want. And once you get it how you like it, you're actually gonna go back and hot glue everything into place. So I hot glued the hat, the gloves, the flowers, the little rake even. Just hot glue everything into place so that it actually stays the way you want it. And if you're gonna be using your command strip, I recommend putting that on now before you go to put it on the door. It'll be a lot easier. I went to hang my a ribbon on a nail on my door and place the command strip on the back and it was a little more difficult once I had everything already together so I definitely recommend doing that beforehand so it'll be a lot easier to stick it to your door. I love how this DIY turned out. It looks like something you would spend a lot of money on if you went and bought it at the store but I was able to make it for only $8. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if you are planning on recreating any of these and which DIY was your favorite. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.